Hey guys, today I am filming my first update for my Project Ten Pan Fall Edition. If you guys did not see my intro, I will have that linked up in the cards. I did also just recently film a chit chat get ready with me using all of these products. You can see them in action, how they all work and look together. I'll have that linked in the cards as well if you're interested. So I was able to hit my goal on five products, which is really exciting. And one of them doesn't quite count, but I will get to it. So the first thing I finished is the NARS Pore and Shine Control Primer. I went through this so quickly, which surprised me, but because of the consistency, which was like a thin moisturizer type, it was easy to apply a decent amount of this to my skin. And I talked about it in the Get Ready With Me, but the consistency of this was very odd. So it says that this primer lasts for 24 months and I only had it for 12. But the texture of this was really weird. I could feel like the little particles that made up the primer. It wasn't like it was balling up on my skin, but like in my hands and immediately as I applied it to my face, I could feel all these gross little particles. And it happened when I used different moisturizers, different primers, different priming sprays. And the only time I did not have that happen is when I applied my skincare and then a couple hours later I did my makeup. I didn't have any issue then, but that's not something I can do on a typical day. I have to apply my skincare and then immediately apply my makeup and get going. So this is a weird primer to me. It definitely has not expired. It's just something about this consistency does not work with my skin. I didn't find that it blurred my pores or kept me particularly matte. So this is not something I will repurchase. I'm really disappointed that this was kind of crappy for me, but I'm happy that I didn't fall in love with a high-end primer at the same time. The next thing I have finished is the ColourPop No Filter Concealer in the shade Light 10. And I started out right here, so I didn't have much left at all. And I used this up applying this on my cheeks. So right now I'm using the Too Faced Peach Perfect Matte Foundation, which again, you guys can see this in that chit chat, get ready with me. That foundation gives about a medium coverage for me, but I'm not really able to build it up on itself. So I would apply this concealer on top of my cheeks and it helped to really really give some amazing coverage. This concealer is also great for under eyes, for blemishes. This is an amazing concealer. You don't get a ton of product and unfortunately this does also oxidize. And I love this color a lot. This shade would match me perfectly, but then it oxidizes, but I'm thinking about buying it again anyway. I have a few other shades, but all the colors in the fair range are either like a peach, pink, or a neutral undertone. None of them are very yellow, and this is a really great yellow. And I do have the white concealer from ColourPop that I can mix with this, so I don't need to repurchase right now, but this is something I would repurchase in the future. Again, good for under eyes, good for blemishes, but my favorite way to use this is to layer on top of other foundations to give it the most maximum coverage. It's really easy to blend out, has more of a satin finish. I absolutely love this, and I'm sad I used it up, but at the same time, I do have this shade Fair 8, which is one shade down from that one, and I can use that in the same way. The next thing I finished up was my ColourPop Full Zip eyeshadow. This is just their smaller pan that came in the Yes Please palette. This was just a matte cream. I was using to set my eyeshadow primer. I had hit pan on this in a previous project and I was able to finish it completely. So that's exciting. It's a fine product, but I have so many matte creams in my collection that I'm trying to work through. I definitely wouldn't repurchase any of them, but if I have to buy one, I'm going to buy Wet n Wild Brulee because it is a single, it's only a dollar, and it's a great matte cream. The next thing is something I hit my goal on. I hit pan on the Anastasia Eyeshadow and Burnt Orange from the Modern Renaissance palette. I was using this as my transition color with this look, and I absolutely loved it. This was a rollover from my Summer Project pan. I think it looks absolutely beautiful. It is one of my favorite shades in this palette, a really great warm tone matte for my crease without being too orangey. Love this shade and I'm gonna continue working on this because it goes well with my other shadows and I will update you guys every month to see how the pan grows. And the last item here I did not use up but it did go bad. And this is the Smashbox Always On Liquid Lipstick in the shade Driver Seat. So I had used it one time and I felt like I wasn't able to get out a ton of product. So I took out the stopper, as you can see, 
this has completely dried out. Now there's only actually a little bit of product in the tube because I did try to work with this a couple times. This is so, 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 so thick and dry. It looks very heavy and goopy on my lips. I felt like I was like, like trying to like rub it on there. It took a lot of pressure. This was so thick and goopy and crusty and gross. And that's very disappointing. This is not very old. I had received this in October of 2016. So it has been two years and that doesn't feel like a long time for lip products. And I've have other liquid lipsticks that are older than this one that are still good. So that is a huge bummer for me. And because I have such a large lip product collection, even though I like this formula, I will not repurchase them because they go bad too quickly. You know, if you have a very small lip collection and you tend to go through lip products relatively quickly, this might be something nice to try out because it was a really comfortable formula for a liquid lipstick. It's more on the moussey side. I really like this applicator because it makes it very easy to line your lips and fill them in. So those are all of the items that I finished up. So now to show you the progress on all of the items I have left and I will be adding in two replacement products. My first replacement product is going to be another face primer. You guys know I have quite a few so I'm trying to work through them and one of the older ones in my collection is the Becca First Light Priming Filter. I've tried a little foil sample of this before and it was just okay but I liked it enough that I would definitely use this again Again. and I'm still decently oily in the fall time but hopefully the weather will start to get a little bit cooler my skin will get a little less oily and I think this will be a good product so hopefully I can have this finished off by the finale I have two full months if I don't finish it that's okay because I finished off my initial product but here's hoping the next item I have is my cover effects loose setting powder in the translucent shade this was how tiny the original packaging was it has one gram in it so I decided that I wanted to put the product from this jar into a slightly larger jar this is a dermablend loose setting powder jar and I'm so happy I did that it makes it very easy to use this way and in my intro I did insert some pictures so you can see what it looked like going from this jar to this jar I cannot believe I still have a good amount of this product left because I have used this every single day to set my under eyes. And I'm not sure if you guys will be able to see that's how much I have left. So I think that this should definitely be finished off by next month, but I'm not gonna underestimate the amount of powder in here. This does set my skin really nicely. It makes my under eyes look pretty matte, but it makes them also feel really tight and dry right when I apply it. But then after my oils are able to come through a bit after like an hour or so, it feels fine, but definitely not my favorite loose powder, but I don't mind using it. The next thing I had was this little sample of the Balm's Bahama Mama Bronzer. It was in this little eyeshadow compact, but this is like a mini shadow. It only has 0.57 grams in it, and I decided to repress that bronzer into this little pixie compact. I've been using this almost every single day to contour. I have not hit pan yet, which was really surprising to me because there's not a ton of products in there, but I think it's because of the way I repressed it. I think it added too much alcohol, which made it a little bit more firm, not as powdery as most products can be when you repress them. So this is definitely gonna take me until the finale, but I really, really hope by next update, I will have at least hit a significant amount of pan. Now, when I use my brush in here, it does take up a decent amount of the pan. So I'm hoping that when I do hit pan, it will be a lot at once, but we will see. This is a really nice color in the original pan it looks a little bit more green it's definitely an olive tone bronzer but when i repressed it it looks a little bit more on the cool side without being too gray but it works really well for me i do love this product and i really really hope that i can use that up next we have the benefit cabral pomade sample in the shade number one so if you guys can see it is completely cleaned out all the way to the bottom but there is product on the sides and it does take a little bit, but if I scrape and scrape around the edges, I'm able to get up more product. I do have it in my brows today. I thought maybe I could get the last application, but I do believe that there's probably two or three more applications left in this. So 
you can see there's product all along the sides, but because of the packaging of the sample, you're not able to get to all of it, but I will scrape out absolutely as much as I can, and this will definitely be finished off by next month. So since I used up ColourPop Full Zip as my matte cream to side primer, I'm gonna go back to Urban Decay Foxy from the Naked 2 palette. This was in my Halloween project pan, and I hit significant amount of pan on this. So what I'm going to do is actually repress this shadow into that little ColourPop Full Zip pan so I can keep it in my little eyeshadow quad to make it easier to use and whatnot. So I will insert a picture for that looks like repressed. I'm hoping this full eye shall be able to fit in there since I have used up so much, but we'll both find out together. So I would like to finish this by the finale, but if I don't, that's okay because I did finish my initial shadow. My lid color I've been using is the ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in Sequin, which is a beautiful rose gold copper. As you can see, I have hit pan on this shadow, but my goal is to use it up completely. So hopefully I'll be able to do that by the finale. I'm a little nervous about it. For my crease color, I have Makeup Geek Frappe. The dent has gotten a little bit bigger, but still no pan yet, but I'm really, really hoping I'll be able to hit pan on this one by next month. I love this shadow, but I'm so, so close. And then the last shadow I'm working on is Isabella from the Anastasia Master Palette by Mario. I don't even really have a dip on this one yet. I'm hoping to hit pan on this by the finale, but I'm probably the most nervous about this shadow. Lastly, we have my three lip products. So the first item is the Tarte Tartis Lip Pencil in the shade Latergram. It is also like a terracotta nude shade. And this is something I chose to use with that liquid lipstick. And of course, liquid lipstick has dried out now, but I did try it in that chit chat get ready with me with the lipsticks in my project. And I think it will work well together. So I will still be able to get some good use out of this one. I did use it quite a few times over the past month with other lipsticks in my collection, but this is an item that you cannot twist back down. So I'm not sure how much I have left, but I really do hope I can finish it by the finale. So then to show you the progress on my lip, Sticks. The first one I have is the NARS Audacious Lipstick in the shade Raquel, a beautiful peachy pinky nude color. And here are my markings. The first line is from the intro. The second line is where I'm at now. So not a ton of progress, but I definitely have some. At the intro, I was right after the N. Now I've almost completely finished the N. I'm very close to the A. So that is showing that I have used up a good amount of this lipstick, but I still have a lot to go. Then we have the Too Faced Creme Lipstick in Country Star. This is a very, very peachy nude color. This has a really beautiful glossy finish. And I have used up more of this one as you can see that was from my intro that's from my first update and that's because this is more of a satin formula it lasts on the lips longer and this one is more glossy and wears off quickly so as i said i was trying to reapply both of them but there were quite a few times when i just would reapply this one so i still have a lot of lipstick to go through, but I really, really hope I can finish that by the finale. Also, I forgot to mention that I did finally get a job. I'm so excited. I am starting two days after I'm filming this video. And for the most part, I do plan on trying to wear these makeup products every day, but I am also testing out the Makeup Revolution Emily Edit the Once palette this month as well. So we'll see. But regardless, I will be able to get a lot more progress made on all of these items because I will be reapplying my lip products more and I will be using these eyeshadows more. I haven't been as much because whenever I film videos, I'm trying to make looks with the palettes I'm reviewing but because I will have more days where I'm not filming, but I'm wearing makeup. I should be able to get more progress on the eyeshadows and lip products. All the other things I've been using every single day anyway. So hopefully next month will be a really great update and I will have quite a few more things used up. I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please let me know in the comments if you are doing a fall project pan right now. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye guys.